What's the most unfair thing that happened to you in school? My chemistry teacher, Mr. Mickelson, absolutely despised me. I have no idea why. I was quiet, turned in assignments on time, never disrupted class, but he'd single me out constantly. Jordan, since you clearly weren't paying attention, explain molecular bonding. I was paying attention, but he'd ask the hardest questions just to watch me struggle. It started getting worse. He'd accidentally knock my lab equipment off the table, then mark me down for damaged materials. When I worked with lab partners, he'd separate us mid-experiment, claiming I was disrupting others. Then came the rumors. Other students started whispering that Mickelson told them I was cheating. Kids who used to study with me suddenly avoided me. My best friend Emma pulled me aside one day and said, Jordan, everyone's saying you've been copying homework. Is it true? I was crushed. I'd never cheated on anything in my life. The harassment escalated when Mickelson started calling my parents. He'd tell them I was failing assignments I knew I'd aced. My mom would confront me at dinner, disappointed and confused. Mr. Mickelson says you got a 34% on your quiz. What's happening to you? But when I'd ask Mickelson to show me these failing grades, he'd claim the papers were being processed or locked in his filing cabinet. I never saw a single one. I I started keeping copies of everything. Every homework assignment, every lab report, every quiz answer. My parents thought I was becoming obsessive, but something felt wrong. The breaking point came during our final lab exam. I'd studied for weeks, knew everything inside and out. We had to identify unknown substances. I nailed every single one. I was confident, maybe for the first time all semester. But as I was packing up, I noticed Mickelson writing something on my answer sheet. When I tried to look, he covered it with his hand and snapped, eyes on your own work, Miss Turner. That was weird. The exam was over. Everyone else had already left. Two days later, he handed back results. I got a 20 a failing grade that would tank my GPA and end my college dreams. My hands shook as I stared at the paper. This couldn't be right. I was devastated, but also furious. That night, I called my older brother, who's a chemistry major. I described each substance I'd identified. He confirmed I was 100% correct on everything. Then my brother said something that changed everything. Jordan, do you still have copies of your other work? I did. We spread everything out on my bedroom floor. Homework, quizzes, lab reports, all my copies showed good grades. But according to Mickelson's gradebook, I was failing everything. That's when I recognized Mickelson's handwriting. The wrong answers on my sheet weren't in my handwriting. He'd erased my correct answers and written in wrong ones. We decided to set a trap. My brother helped me create a fake homework assignment with one deliberate, obvious mistake, writing H2O as H3O. We submitted it and waited. A week later, Mickelson handed it back with a failing grade. But when we looked at the paper, the H3O had been changed to something completely different. He wasn't even reading my work, just failing me automatically and fabricating reasons. The next morning, I brought my brother to school. We requested a meeting with Mickelson and the principal. My brother asked Mickelson to explain how I got each answer wrong. Mickelson stammered through made-up explanations that made zero scientific sense. My brother started correcting him in front of the principal. Then my brother pulled out our evidence, the copies, the handwriting analysis, and the trap assignment. Mr. Mickelson, he said calmly, can you explain why my brother's homework shows H2O was changed to H3O in your gradebook, but on this paper it's been erased and rewritten as something else entirely? Mickelson's face went white. He started sweating, claiming everything was forged, but the principal had seen enough. He was furious. By lunch, Mickelson was suspended pending investigation. He never came back.